Hello and welcome to this new video. I wanted to start off by saying thank you guys for all the comments on my last video. It meant so much. This is actually 24 hours after the video that I filmed and uploaded. Today I'm feeling uh, definitely a lot better. I had a little workout session in the gym by myself. I made some matcha. I had a, like a nice shower. And I just did my makeup now because I'm gonna go meet my friend for a little dinner and drinks just here in the neighborhood. And I actually wanted to ask you guys if you'd be interested in seeing this sort of dewy look. Um, I've done this look on my friend Lemmy and she absolutely loved it because she's like, what did you do to my skin? And I definitely do see now that there is something different. Um, about this look because I don't always do it like this because there's like a primer that I use and a setting spray that I use that I feel like achieves this dewy look so let me know if you would guys like to see it and then I can film it in some other vlog maybe basically this is not like anything extraordinary it's like same way that I always do makeup but it's just I feel like the skin looks a lot more alive and awake um, and I remember I had like very few hours of sleep the other day and I had to go to the event and I was like super, you know, tired and then I went there and people were like, oh, you're so pretty and I was like, huh, maybe it is the makeup, you know, so yeah, sometimes I guess you can just cover up your tiredness and your dry skin or whatever with good makeup, so yeah, let me know if you want to see. Yeah, now I have two minutes till a Zoom call. I'm gonna be, um, talking to this brand i'm not quite sure where they're from actually it's a skincare brand and i'm gonna be talking to like the owner or something so i'm quite nervous luckily it's not a video call but yeah i've been having quite a few zoom calls lately with brands and agencies and things like that just when i'm like kind of over <laughs> well actually not kind of just when i'm like not really feeling the influencer life this is when like opportunities find me and they're like hey do you want to work with it do you want to collab do you want to do this do you want to do that and i'm like yeah but anyways this one seems very very good um you guys know i like skincare and yeah i'm always like very selective with who i work with so yeah hopefully this is gonna turn out good so this is gonna be a 30 minute call and then i'm gonna go and meet my friend and i don't know what the vlog is gonna be about so just stay tuned to find out i guess by the way, I love how I lost like 10 or 20 subscribers yesterday after posting that video. It's just interesting to see how people are uncomfortable with the uncomfortable truths of life. But yeah, farewell. There's going to be more space for new people, so... <laughs> I'd love to give you like a short intro and then I'd love to, you know, answer questions, share more about your story. Then right after the book came out, I was doing a lot of TV interviews and I had these dark patches on both sides of my face because I used to tan a tanny bitch. For like 15 years off and on embarrassed to say um, back in the 90s and they said you've damaged your skin it's permanent and uh, we can laser it we can bleach it but it's gonna come back to permanent I didn't really accept that very well to be honest and um, I started working with one of the top herbalists in, in Malibu mm -hmm. uh, where I lived and um, we started looking around the world identifying the, the um, most powerful anti-aging plants on the planet and then super concentrating those plants and then within about eight, let's say uh, you know four or five weeks all the hyperpigmentation went away forever that permanent was gone and we were really uh, blown away because it was just plants there was no chemicals at all within about six months we ended up in korea uh, just by word of mouth and of course, at the time, I had no idea Korea was like the skincare mecca of the world, which I found out. <laughs> yes. And, uh, but we became a cult brand there overnight today. We're in all the high-end stores. We have a big K-pop following, uh, a lot of the soap opera celebrities. So we have nothing in the product that's not a plant, which is extremely rare, I would say, anywhere in the world. When you put the serum on the skin, you actually feel it heating up, warming you start to see it working within minutes uh, certainly within hours and we've been able to take away major skin issues in a matter of a few days or a few weeks um if you saw on our website we're actually the most potent anti-aging serum in the world according to something called the oric scale which is the only anti-aging scale in the world scientific scale and uh, we have compared ourselves with just about everybody who's anybody in skincare from uh, La Mer, La Prairie, down to Augustinus Bader, down to Kiehl's on the bottom, mm -hmm. and everybody in between. And nobody's close on that bill. We're massively ahead. And wow. because of that, we do, we get um, incredible results when it comes to 
uh, the 10 most visible signs of aging, like fine lines, wrinkles, uh, skin texture, pore size, hyperpigmentation, acne, maskne, rosacea, eczema, psoriasis, melasma, scarring, the list goes on with the cure. The cure will take on most things successfully over time. Um, I think, you know, just to sum up, a lot of people around the world are calling us um, a new category in skincare, which would be medical grade plant only skincare. So we're getting medical grade, pharmaceutical grade results, and I would say beyond that really, uh, with just plants, nothing else, which has never really happened before. And I think a lot of people are really excited about it. That's where all the buzz is coming from these days. So, and um, besides the rosacea, anything else that you you would like to see improvement with with your um, skin? So to be honest, I have like quite large pores, I would say, and that's obviously producing quite a bit of oiliness in the T zone. Um, I have like a combination skin, and it's like on the cheek area, it's a little bit dry. Um, mm -hmm. But I would say rosacea would probably be the main one. It is incredibly anti-inflammatory. So quite the opposite of inflammation. It's going to take away redness. And um, it'll help with that rosacea. So keep that in mind. I think we do have um, 35 to 40 SPF in our product. We don't put it in there. It comes from the plants um, themselves. So you'll get an additional layer of um, uh SPF just from the product plus whatever you might be using there too. Wow. Okay, that went really well. Um, I did not expect I was going to be talking to the CEO of the company. Hello. Okay. But he was honestly so nice and I'm just so excited now. So they said they're going to mail me two of their products to try out. Um, not going to be like a collaboration in the beginning, just literally to test, see if I like them and then. If I do, we can move on from there. Most expensive plant concentrates on the planet. Wow. No other anti-aging multi-correction serum on the market even comes close. Okay, well, they've got their marketing nailed, but now we're gonna have to try it. I hope that they ship it very quickly and that I can start trying it out. Um, I already sent them like my delivery address and stuff like that so yeah anyways i'm gonna have to go now because i'm gonna be late um luckily it's just very nearby to where i live the location where i'm meeting my friends so let's go by the way another thought just crossed my mind and that is he was the guy was in seattle and it's like eight in the morning in seattle it's like almost 9 p.m here so it's like as a founder of the brand you wake up at eight in the morning to call someone across the you know world who is an influencer to introduce your brand. I mean, mad respect. I'm honestly very gently impressed. I don't think I've ever experienced this before. This is the fit. My good old sweater that I actually wear around the house. Zara mom jeans that I bought like three years ago, I think, or like two and a half years ago. And actually Zara heels too. So very simple. checking in I'm about to make some lunch and I wanted to show you guys what I'm doing and it's a very simple salad that I'm just gonna 
tossed with all the ingredients that I just found in my fridge. Um, I always use kale and spinach as a base. Let me show you guys. Just wash the kale and I'm gonna just chop everything quite finely. I'm gonna put like some leftover steak that I have, some feta cheese and stuff because yeah, I need some energy as we're going roller skating with my friends in about an hour. And I think this is gonna be light but very nutritious. I know a lot of people don't like kale, but to be honest, the way to make it taste good is just to massage it with a bit of olive oil and let it sit. I'm a little bit funny with touching food with my hands. I really don't like it, but I don't have any gloves right now. Ugh, just I don't like the oily peeling and generally, even if I cook like meat, I don't like marinating it. It's just like, I don't know, I find it a bit like bleh. And you can put like salt, I guess, and just like let it sit for a little bit. You can put it in the fridge if you're gonna, you know, make it in half an hour or so. But I'm doing everything right now, so I'll just leave it out here. Some tomatoes and radish and cucumber. I actually have some strawberries as well, but I just did a kale and strawberry salad the other day with like truffle oil. So I'm not gonna do this recipe today. So we have our tomatoes, cucumber, radish, and I'm just gonna add a bit of... Um, feta I have about a half left and I just literally crumble with my hand so lots of touching the food huh? but I feel like it tastes better like this instead of just being cubes but that's just me and now one of the most important parts of the salad is the dressing I always use uh, my Nutribullet um, and yeah, I just blend a few things to be honest so I'm using a bit of pomegranate molasses I never measure anything I just eyeball it and hope for the best. I like to use something like a little bit sour, that's why I'm using pomegranate molasses, but you can be using, I guess, like balsamic vinegar or apple cider vinegar or lemon. And then I like to use something sweet. So this is, I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's like a syrup from Germany. And you can use honey, you can use maple syrup. And again, just eyeball it a little bit. Um, we added oil, so I don't want to add too much oil into the dressing, um, but you need just a little bit, so yeah, just a little dash. And yeah, and then I add a little bit of like uh, mustard, because it gives a little bit of a kick, or I guess you could use something spicy, but we're going for something more like refreshing, I suppose, so I wouldn't recommend add adding anything spicy. I think that's more than enough. I've learned this from uh, the chef that used to work at my previous job uh, that you need to like mix something sticky something like oily and something refreshing to get all the flavors going actually let me add a bit of salt and pepper for the salt sometimes i do garlic salt sometimes i do normal salt himalayan salt now i'm just gonna add a bit of garlic salt i don't add too much usually because feta has its own you know salty flavor a bit of pepper i don't know if you guys can see probably not but um yeah this is our little dressing and then just blend on the nutri bullet and mix everything together. I'm gonna also add, I think, a few almond flakes. I always like to add a little bit like, I don't know, almonds, walnuts, whatever I have on hand. And I have some almond flakes this time, so I'm gonna use that. This is how it looks. It doesn't look too pleasant, I know, but it's gonna taste good. So let's do it. Ooh, I can smell it's very sour, but that's good. I added the steak, some almond flakes. And voila, this is my lunch. I'm just gonna call my dad and enjoy my food before I get ready. By the way, it's such a beautiful day. I think I'm gonna be very hot on the palm when we're roller skating. And I'll have to show you my roller skates. I don't think I've shown you guys. So I quickly got ready because I'm running a little bit late. And Odette actually just texted me as well that she's gonna be late um, about like 10 minutes, so that's okay. By the way, I think Odette was like, not a professional roller skater but she's like really good like i've seen her stories of her roller skating and i was so impressed i got my roller skates when i was in london um in 2020 when i stuck there for three months i ordered them online and i've only tested them like a couple of times so i'm actually quite nervous um because it's a lot harder than just i think normal uh what do you call them roller blades i guess um at least for me um, but I think they're so fun, like Daisy Duke vibes, and I think it's just super, super fun activity, and it's a good workout at the same time, so I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna show you guys, um, 
the pair that I own. It's so pink and pretty. In the words of a wise man, yeah. Don't know what you got to lose somebody. little behind the scenes before we start roller skating Emmy is wearing Versatilis as you guys know Versatilis is my friend Gabriela's clothing line and I have the green top and she asked Emmy just to take some photos so beautiful so let me show you guys now my skates yeah yeah go sit yeah so these are my beautiful skates that I've only used oh, wow. once. <laughs> okay, I put on all of my equipment <laughs> and now it's time for the skates. In roller skates in Master Castle, and I think it's on the 8th or it's <laughs> <laughs> Not now. <laughs> not now! What do you mean not now? Now is the right time. By the way, me and Emmy we were yesterday at Raffles Dubai, which is somewhere there, for a brunch. Did you like the brunch yesterday, Emmy? It was amazing. Yeah, so good. So we're back on the palm today. But we're gonna attempt to roller skate. Amira, killing it, killing it! Mashallah! Go girls! Yes! Adet, you are just so comfortable, I can already see that. Yes. Wow, this weather is like perfect. And it's actually very smooth, guys. Of the West Crescent. Woo! Alive. <laughs> Alive. None of us, none of us fell. None of us fell, which is great. Taking some pictures. Guys, at this view. I think we're gonna see sunset in like about an hour or so. The sun is still kind of high. Emmy is being a paparazzi with her new iPhone. Okay, so our dad is gonna do a little show for us. Oh girl, yes! What? Guys, it was so much fun. Um, I don't know why, but like my butt cheeks got so tired. Um, but I, when I was actually skiing um, in December in Mall of Emirates, um, I also felt it. I feel like I'm just like holding myself like so tight and tense because I'm like scared to fall. I don't know if you guys have the same when you're like roller skate and stuff like that but um yeah we really enjoyed it and we only did like half of the palm which is like just the west crease but we said next time we're gonna attempt to do the whole palm and hopefully we're gonna do this like a weekend tradition now and now i'm on the way to pick up my friend simona she just came back from thailand she was there on holiday for like a month so i haven't seen her for a very long time and uh, yeah i can't wait to catch up and just have a girls evening and oh my gosh, the cars here and the palm are just insane. There was just like a crazy green Lambo <laughs> that passed by. But it's so funny. I feel like people are so kind of shallow here. I feel like people are just trying to show off how fancy their cars here, which I think is very silly. Like, I really don't care about cars too much, but that's just my personal preference. But yeah, anyways, just wanted to let you know that roller skating was a success and we had a lot of fun. We laughed, we took lots of pictures. So a Sunday well spent. Oh, and I forgot to share with you guys, but um, this week I also went cycling in Alcutra. Um, I've done it once with Simona actually, and it was really, really fun. But this time I think we did like 30 something kilometers and it was like so hard. Um, I was pushing myself so much and the wind was so crazy. So it was like very difficult. Um, and my legs were literally on fire. Like I remember when I finished, you know, the, the route, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't feel the lower part of my body. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it was really fun. It was like a, actually a very busy week, but I just don't know why I didn't vlog Anything like basically nothing. I don't know So I'm just explaining to you guys what I got up to and I'm so glad that I'm just doing a bit better But yeah, like I just want to emphasize um, That you know feeling good is never a permanent thing and so don't like be hard on yourself Like I know I had a bad moment to uh, like days ago and whatever not a few days ago like at the beginning of the week and then I had a like a really good uh, Like four or five days afterwards. So like I just know it all comes in waves and that's kind of normal and to be expected and Yeah, we just got to appreciate it when it's good and when it's bad you need to remind yourself that it's all gonna pass too. So yeah 